Next is 3 to 4. If you can see from PV diagram, 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion. Since this is isentropic expansion, then we can use formula hijau. Okay, so we use formula hijau which relates T with V, then I get this formula. Okay, this is, we, are, we call it as a chain rule. Okay, T4 over T3 is equal to V3 over V4. In this formula, V3 over V4, we don't have any idea on how to find this. Okay, but we have the clue. Okay, the clue is here. V1 over V2, this is compression ratio. And V1, if you can see from PV diagram, is equal to V4. Then please write it down here. V1 is equal to V4. V2 is equal to V2. And we have cutoff ratio. V3 here over V2. And it is equal to 1.3. So, I modify... V3 to V3 over V4 like this. Okay. And I know V3 over V4 is equal to V3 over V1. Because V1 is equal to V4. So, V3 over V1 here, I modify into the chain rule. V3 over V2. Multiply with V2 over V1. And if I cancel this, I will get this. Okay? So, V3 over V2, this is cut-off ratio. And V2 over V1 is equal to 1 over RV. Then, I get V3 over V1 in this value. Then, I put this value again into this equation. Okay? Then, I will get... T4. T4 is equal to 174.51 degree Celsius. Next, to find P4, again, I use formula hijau, but this time around, I relate T with P. Okay, so, I get P4 as a 137.641 kilopascal. So, settle for question A. Next, we go to question B. Q in in kilojoule. So, we know that Q in from PV diagram, this is Q in. And Q in is in constant pressure. So, since this is in constant pressure, then I put Cp multiply with T3 minus T2. And I multiply with mass to get the formula or the unit as a kilojoule. Okay, then I get Q in as a 29.02 kilojoule. Okay, please remember and please be careful with the unit. Okay, so question C is work output in kilojoule. So I have to write down the formula with capital letter. W net is equal to Q in minus Q out. So, I already get the value of Q in here. Then, I have to find Q out. Okay. If we refer to PV diagram, Q out is occur here in constant volume. Okay. Then, this is constant volume CV. T4 minus T1 multiply with mass because the unit must be in kilojoule, apple to apple. Okay, then when I get Q out, then I will get W net. Okay, this is the value of W net. Next is thermal efficiency. Thermal efficiency is W net over Q in. So, this is the value of W net and Q in here. Okay, and the thermal efficiency is 54.44 percent and lastly mean effective pressure in kilopascal okay in kilopascal so this is not kilojoule but this is kilopascal okay okay so please be careful with MEP 
if you, if you use WNET in capital letter, then you have to use volume max V in capital letter, which represent volume. If you write down MEP is equal to WNET over in small letter, then you must uh, divide it with specific volume. Okay, 1 minus 1 over RV. Please be careful with the unit. So, in this formula, I write W net in capital letter, then V must be in capital letter, so V present volume. Okay, this is not RV, but R. This is not RP, but RV. Okay. So, to find V max, V max is refer to V1. Okay, it's referred to V1. Then, I find V1 using ideal gas equation. So, this is the value of V1. And from that, I can find the MEP. Okay. And the MEP is 188.68 kilopascal. Okay. So, for your information, uh, this question or this chapter uh, is easy for you to get the full mark 20 over 20 but please be careful especially in uh, q in and mep that's the tip from me thank you